Hi everyone, welcome to the Nacolas Workshop. Um, in today's video we're going to have a look at uh, what's inside a, an Eclipse um, magnetic chuck. Now this one is the one that came with my surface grinder and um, curiosity got the better of me and I decided to take it apart and have a look inside. Um, so it's not really meant as a tutorial, it's really just to maybe quench some of your uh, your curiosities if you're thinking about what's inside so let me walk you through what um what i did um so initially um on the other side what we've got is uh an oil filler hole um so i crack that open um put some whey oil i think i use just you want some sort of relatively fine oil and then over a period of about four days i just left it for a day tilted that way then that way then that way and then obviously the other way and making sure there was some oil in there and i was just trying to because i don't know when this was last opened try to um ensure that there was some oil got round to all the sort of the bottoms of the screw holes and 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 just give me my best chance of being able to open and in it this without uh too much trouble there's uh as well as the the eight uh the eight uh, bolts there's uh five um pins that are locating pins so um that all the tools i needed to take it apart were were um a small hammer screwdriver and a punch um and then i have um some non-magnetic uh, sort of drifts really that well that's what i call them um but it's just lumps of brass really which are used to prise the two parts two, two sides apart now as this has been apart for a little little while because um, i was waiting for some hydamar because i wanted to just try and seal it before i put it back together what i've done is i've taken a, i've Although I've taken it apart and cleaned it up, I just put two pieces of really thin wood, which uh, I got from the um, uh, the joiners, and that's just it seems to make it easier still for me to break the seal and get get the two magnetic halves apart. Um, but it so uh, yeah, so it's because of what I wasn't sure, and this is where my knowledge sort of disappears, um, is if keeping them apart would would I start to get some drop in uh, uh, the magnetic force so but that seems to you know I can I can still pick it up by the top the top thing and we've got no screws in there so the magnetic force is quite um quite strong so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to um, I'll do it yeah I'll bring you back in a minute when I've managed to take this top bit off we got the uh uh got the wood out and then you can actually see what's inside so i'll be back in a minute okay actually i've had second thoughts and thought i'd show you how they get on so really let's see if i can it's definitely got some falls still here okay yeah, but you can see the logic of why we're trying to keep the um keep the wood there and then that allows me to lift the base off or the top really so these are just i don't know eight thick they were using something on the machines downstairs and that was the the residue so inside we can we can take this part off let's take that off so there seems to be three um three main component parts of it we can see down here uh, that's where the uh, the oil filler comes through again we can see all the the magnetic um, I don't know what you call them maybe cells I don't know anyway all I did was just cleaned all around here I was again because of my lack of knowledge I was very conscious of the fact whether these were joined in any way uh, the, so I just uh, was very careful um, toothbrush uh, and and lots of patience really um so this is all steel this this part is aluminium and there's the the cam that um you can sorry let me uh so you can see it's it's on a cam there i think 
yeah I think you can see that and that let's put that there that lifts that up from what I can see or conclude and that goes on that way obviously the other way around and there's an indentation there so that that lays out I think it makes contact on there so uh, it's all very uh, surprisingly simple inside actually so my plan is so I've done all the cleaning I just did all around here with scotch bright um, and on the inside um, and then what I wanted to do was um, I was just going to use a bit of this liquid gasket um, I'm not sure whether you really have to if you've got these surfaces um, pretty clean but this is quite an old uh, uh, old um, more old magnetic chuck so um, the view was I would just put it all around um, to create a bit of a seal so when I put some oil back in there it should be uh, it's got a better chance of sealing because um, I'm hoping this will be a once only exercise um, and then uh, we'll put the put the the can back in so again when you it can only go one way one position because the holes if you have it there or the holes don't line up can't go the other way because it's obviously this is you know this bit's here and it won't go there so it's pretty foolproof really um, yeah so that's uh, yeah that's it really inside um, and then that will just go back on top um, and then when the surface grinder's finished I will uh, can you see yeah uh, we just run over the top here and just try and clean that up I've cleaned it up the best I can but it's it's had a hard life um, and and to be honest because it's in such poor condition that's why I thought it won't really hurt to take it apart and have a look okay so um, the the order of operation as far as putting it back in is what I plan to do is put put the wood again just so then that allows me um, to position it I'll put the screws up through the bottom because they come up through the bottom and screw into uh, into the top so I put them into so I've got a location uh, for them and then this will uh, I'll put this on this way um, and then put the no actually sorry I'll put something underneath here to lift this up slightly put the screws in so they're only protruding a very small amount so that will help me hold this off the uh, the magnetic bit because believe me once it's on there it doesn't want to move and then put the uh, the dowel pins in from the top just put that there yeah so then I'll, I'll put that on put the dowel pins in so then that should give me the location so what I've effectively done is I've ensured the location of that to that part and this to here so actually everything should start to line up um, and as I push the the pin through further that should give me a reasonable um, alignment to then be able to twist it round and do the screws up so yeah so that's really about it on this uh, surface grinder and you can see just through even through that wood I can now oh, yeah, so it doesn't hold it completely but it's it's got a fair old uh, strength on there uh, yeah so that's about it for today so uh, hope it was uh, interesting and uh, hi everyone so um, when I was doing the editing I thought I probably left this uh, up in the air so um, just to show you I've um, reassembled it um, as per the sort of order, oper order of operations I outlined to you um, everything worked fine um, just to show you got a block of steel so put it on and off yeah tickety boo can't move you know can't move it back round off it comes so that's 
all worked fine uh, just another little piece of information the uh, the multi-tool well the axle blade but um, I showed this in a, one of the um, weekend workshop tips but that was really good for putting the Heidemar on and, and getting that round so that will be useful to know and the only other lesson learned would be when you take should you do this when you take the um, the screws out the the eight of them what you're probably better to do is uh, mark where the order where they came from so you can put them back in the same slots because they they obviously in the factory re-grind the top which is what I'm going to do so it doesn't actually matter but you've got this one slightly protruding so I guess there is some sort of variation somewhere so um, you you would avoid that should you um, put them put them back in the same holes but other than that it's um I'd call it a success it all seems to work okay um, so when we get the surface grinder up and running I'll show you skimming over the top of this okay all right well as always uh, stay happy strong and healthy and I'll see you in the next one cheerio